Hey everyone, today the housing finance sector of India is in one of the best phase of growth. After facing a big litmus test of asset quality during COVID, some of the housing finance companies have come out with flying colors. To add cherry on the top, the interest rate cycle in India is already at its peak and interest rates are expected to reduce in coming quarters. And that would benefit the housing finance companies. Now, if you recall, I recently covered Avas Financial's business in detail and mentioned that there's a big structural tailwind in housing finance sector of India that has one of the lowest mortgage to GDP ratio of 11%. Mortgage to GDP basically suggests home loan as percentage of total GDP. So even today, very few people have taken home loans in India. In US, this ratio is 67% and in UK it is 90%. In fact, this mortgage to GDP ratio outside top 100 cities of India is just 3%. And let's not forget that majority of population in India still lives in small towns and villages. That's where there's a huge opportunity for companies in affordable housing finance sector that caters to home loan for low and middle income sector of semi-urban and rural areas. Because as India's rural and middle class population would prosper, there would be more demand for affordable housing. So there are three promising names in this category. Home First, Avas Financials, and Aptus Value Housing. Now you might wonder, home loan is something that is provided by every bank, including your established players like SDFC, ICICI, Exis, and of course, you have PSU banks like State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, etc. And these banks have much lower cost of borrowing, so they can offer loans at lower interest rate. So the question is, aren't these affordable housing finance companies have threat from these established bank, that's very important point. So first of all, the bigger banks don't cater to low income segment with small loan ticket size. Bigger banks are not interested in small loans in semi-urban and rural areas. Secondly, even if the bank try to capture the market, these affordable housing finance companies have a very low loan ticket size in the range of around 10-15 lakh. Now due to this low ticket size, the EMIs are also lower. For instance, a 10 lakh rupees loan for 20 years would have an EMI of around 10,000 rupees a month. Now, even if the established banks offer lower interest rate, it won't change the EMI significantly. Due to that, the switching rates are also very low. People normally don't switch to bigger banks. Hence, these affordable housing finance companies have created their own niche and doing fantastic job. That's where, in this video, I want to cover the business of Home First, Avas Financial and Aptus Value Housing and compare them on various parameters to help you figure out which is better among all three. But before that, this video is only for educational purpose and not a stock tip. Kindly do your own research before investing your money. Alright, let's get started. So first of all, we'll have a quick introduction of all three institutions and then we'll do a comparative analysis. So Home First was established in 2010 with affordable housing business in Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. The key challenge that Home First is addressing in housing finance sector is tedious documentation and time-consuming process for loan sanctioning. And when it comes to home loan for mid to low income category, many people don't have proper credit history and documentation. Hence, their applications get rejected. That's where Home First is focused on technology to simplify and expedite the overall lending process and today it offers home loan within 48 hours. Moreover, it offers doorstep service with paperless process. Over the last 13 years, Home First has grown exponentially with AUM growing from 2 crore to 20, then 69, then 163, 337, 548, all the way to 7,198 crore. In last 6 years, the AUM growth is 42.8% which is exceptional. Today, Home First commands a market cap of around 7,000 crore rupee. And company has a very, very strong leadership team with founding members including Jed Tirth Rao. He holds master degree from IIM Ahmedabad as well as University of Chicago, US. He's a visiting faculty at both institutions. He was also the founder, chairman and managing director of Emphasis. In the past, Mr. Rao has served as chairman of NASCOM. He was with Citicorp for 20 years in various capacity. Then second founder is P.S. Jayakumar. He's a former MD and CEO of Bank of Baroda. Website is not updated. He holds a master degree from XLRI Jamshedpur, a master degree in com commerce from University of Madras and is an associate member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. 
Mr. Jayakumar started his career with Citibank in 1986 and has held many senior management positions there, including being country head of consumer business in India and head for consumer lending business in Asia Pacific. Then third founder is Manoj Vishwanathan. He has done his bachelor's from Bits Pilani and MBA from XLRI Jamshedpur. He is considered to have played an important role in building the branch-based consumer lending model for Citigroup in India. He is the managing director and CEO of Home First Finance Company. The reason I covered the leadership is because leadership plays a very very important role in a bank. In my previous video on Federal Bank, I clearly mentioned that I invest in a banker and not on the bank. So for me, bank is all about its leadership. Then if you look at Avas Financiers, it started its journey in 2011 as a subsidiary of AU Small Finance. But in 2006, AU Small Finance sold its stake to 2P firm Kidara Capital and Partners Group. Ava started its operation from three states, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Gujarat in 2012. Later it expanded to various other states. Avas is also focused on technology as its core with loan getting sanctioned within 10 to 12 days. Although Avas is planning to reduce this stat that is turnaround time to 6 to 7 days. Now in last 12 years, Avas also had a brilliant growth with AM growing from 120 crore in FI13. So this data is in billion rupee and we are converting it into crore. So 120 crore, then 410 crore, then 840 crore, all the way to currently at 14,170 crore. Today, Avas commands a market cap of around 12,000 crore rupees. Like I mentioned before, I've done in-depth analysis on Avas. So do watch the video for more details. Now, if you look at leadership, again, Avas has a top-notch team. Although Avas recently had a leadership transition where Mr. Sushil Kumar Agrawal, who led Avas from the beginning, has been replaced by Sachinder Binder as MD and CEO. He has been with Avas as CEO of MSME Business since 2019. Mr. Binder has over 25 years of experience and prior to Avas, Mr. Binder was with Kotak Mahindra Bank for 16 years as Executive VP and Business Head where he built 40,000 crore book comprising of home loan, loan against property, rural and affordable housing. For more details, I would recommend going through the leadership detail and board of director detail of the company. Then third company is Aptus Value Housing. Incorporated in 2010 in Chennai, Aptus Value Housing had its presence in South India, predominantly in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. So company has a strong hold in South India. Again, the growth of Aptus has been fantastic with AM growing from 29 crore in 2011 to 86, 159, 252, all the way to 6,738 crore. In last five years, the CGI growth in AM is 30%. Today, Aptus commands a market cap of around 13,000 crore. Kami also has a very strong leadership. It was founded by Mr. M. Anandan. He is a member of Institute of Chartered Accounts of India. He had a career of over four decades in financial service industry, majority part of which was in Murugappa Group between 76 to 2008. For instance, he was executive director between 97 to 2000, MD between 2000 to 2006 for Chola Mullam Investment and Finance. That is part of Murugappa Group. Currently, he is executive chairman of the company. Then you can explore the management team that include Balaji P as MD, Manoharan CT as chief business officer. You can explore the further details on their website. Now that you've got a decent overview of all three companies, let's do a comparative analysis. And folks, this is not an easy task to do such comparative video. Because, especially in finance sector, this kind of ratios that you need in finance to compare, you don't get them on screen up. So I've gone through the annual reports, investor presentation of each of these companies, and I've compiled my list for comparison. I hope you'll appreciate my effort. So first of all, if you look at the geographical presence of each of three companies, Home First is predominantly present in Gujarat, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. And if you look at the business, majority of business, almost 32 plus 14 plus 13, nearly 60% of the business comes from these three states. And even in terms of branch network, it has got highest presence in Gujarat, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu. If you look at Avas, it is predominantly present in Rajasthan, where it has got 102 branches, then Maharashtra and then Gujarat. So between Home First and Avas, they have got a common state, which is Gujarat. And then Aptus is predominantly present in Tamil Nadu and Andhra. Nearly 80% of the business comes from uh, Tamil Nadu and Andhra. And between Home First and Aptus, they have a common link, which is Tamil Nadu. So Tamil Nadu, they have a competition. Avas has got lower competition. So there is no competition in Rajasthan, in Madhya Pradesh, Delhi. So northern part of India, Avas has got presence where currently Home First does not have a lot of presence. And Aptus is completely present in southern part of India. In terms of branch network also, if you look at Avas has got highest branches, 
346 followed with Aptus with 231 branch and Home First with 111 branches. Next, if you look at the financials, first very important term is asset under management. If you look at the growth of asset, Home First asset has grown from 2400 crore to 3600, then 4000, 5000 and currently at 7198. Avas AEM has grown from 5900 to 7007, 9400, 11000 and to date 14166 crore. Aptus value AEM has grown from 2200 crore to 31, 4000 and currently at 6738. Overall in terms of CHR growth, Home first AEM has grown at 31%, Avas has grown at 24.3% and Aptus has grown at 31.2%. But in terms of absolute number, Avas has got a higher AEM. Although the growth is relatively low, but all in all, all three companies have given fantastic growth in last four years. Next, if you look at the advances, that is the loan, Home first loan has grown from 1500 crore to 1600 all the way to 3000. Avas loan book has grown from 2600 crore to 5000 crore. Aptus loan book has grown from 1180 crore to 2394. In terms of CGR growth, Home First is 17.6% CGR, Avas is 17 and Aptus is 19.3. So all three have got more or less similar growth in advances. Now this is a very important slide. It shows portfolio yield, cost of borrowing and spread. So portfolio yield that you see here, Home First has got a yield of 13.1%, Avas has got portfolio yield of 13.1% again and Aptus has a portfolio yield of 17%. It basically suggests the loan rate, the loan rate that you gave. So on home loan, what is the interest that you fetch? So the average loan rate is 13% for Home First, 13.1% for Avas which is same. But Aptus has got a very high interest rate of 17%. The reason is because Aptus does not have only presence in home loan. So this is very important if you look at the business. Home first is majorly in home loan. 88% of its business is from home loan, the AUM breakup. If you look at Avas AUM breakup, 72% comes from home loan. But in case of Aptus, only 58% is from home loan. There's a 21% business coming from small business. So Aptus is more of your microfinance plus home loan. And in small finance business, always remember that you charge higher interest rate. So you'll always be profitable, but there will always be risk of default because there are high NPA issues in small business loan. And that is the reason if you see Aptus has got a higher portfolio yield. But the question here is, can it continue to grow at 17% yield? Because if it has to grow in housing finance, obviously the competitors, Avas and Home First are giving loan at much in lower interest rate. Then very important point is cost of borrowing. It basically suggests the interest rate at which the company is borrowing money. So if you look at home first cost of borrowing, it has got 7.4% in FI23, Avas has 7.6% and Aptus has a cost of borrowing of 8.1%. So cost of borrowing of Aptus is on higher side as compared to Avas and home first and both of them have similar cost of borrowing. And finally the spread which is net interest margin it has got 5.7% net interest margin. Avas is also 5.5%, but Aptus has got much higher uh, net interest margin of 8.9%. Next, if you look at uh, the return on equity, your home first has got return on equity of 13.5%. We are talking about latest ROE. Avas has 14% ROE and Aptus has 16.34% ROE. Then if you look at return on asset, Aptus is way ahead at 8.44%. Uh, then Avas has got... Uh, 3.5% ROA and Home First has an ROA of 3.9%. Next, if you look at gross NPA, which is basically the bad loan, Home First has a higher NPA of 1.6. Avas has got the lowest gross NPA of 0.9 and Aptus NPA is 1.15. And if you look at net NPA, again, Home First has got the higher net NPA, although it is in control. Yeah, so it is 1.1%. Avas is again the lowest. So 0.68% and Aptus is 086 So among all three companies in terms of NPA, Avas has the lowest NPA, which means highest asset quality. Then if you look at the net profit, Home First net profit has grown from 45 crore to 79 all the way to 228 crore. Avas net profit has grown from 176 crore all the way to 428. And Aptus net profit has grown from 112 to 503 crore. In terms of CAGI growth, Home First has exceptional growth of 50%. Aptus again 45.6%, Avas is 24.9%. One of the reason is it had a higher base. But yeah, overall the growth of Home First and Aptus is much higher. 
but net net all three companies have grown at a very good rate in terms of credit rating if you see they've got a credit rating from care and this is the latest rating we are talking about home first has aa minus rating for long term avas is aa so that is better and aptus has a rating of aa minus so avas has got slightly better credit credit rating than home first and aptus next if you look at the share price if you look at home first share price first it had its ipo in 2021 at levels of 547 and currently it is at 794 so it is just the beginning of home first journey then if you look at avas journey if you look at the max so it had its ipo in around 2018 when it was at levels of 781 then it jumped to levels of 3000 from there there is a very good correction and currently it is at levels of 1550 if you look at aptus it also had its ipo recently in august 21 at levels of 355 from there it has corrected to current levels of 260 finally if we do the valuation analysis home first at current levels of 800 commands a market cap of around 7000 crore and has a price to book of 3.88 avas at current levels of 1548 commands a market cap of 12234 crore and a price to book of 3.74 and aptus at current levels of 260 commands a market cap of 12900 crore and price to book of 3.88 so in terms of valuation all three company have got similar valuation almost in fact home first and aptus have got exact same valuation and aptus price to book is slightly low but more or less all three have similar valuation now this is the comparison summary if you look at home first avas aptus in terms of aum growth in four year home first and aptus have grown at slightly better rate than avas in terms of advances all three of them have grown at similar rate cost of borrowing is similar for home first and avas slightly higher for aptus if you look at the yield Again, Home First and Avas have similar yield and Aptus has got a much higher yield. Net interest margin is also similar for Home First and Avas. Aptus is much higher and we have already discussed mainly because it has got 21-22% business from small finance. Then return on equity is again Aptus higher side. Home First is 13.5, Avas 14 which is similar. Return on asset for Home First is higher at 3.9 and Avas is 3.5 but Aptus is way ahead. In terms of gross NPA, net NPA, asset quality, Avas has got the best asset quality followed with Aptus and then Home First. In terms of net profit growth, both Home First and Aptus have grown at much higher rate because of lower base and Avas growth is 25% and market cap, again Avas and uh, Aptus are similar, market cap and Home First is slightly lower. In terms of price to book, all three of them have similar valuation. So it is really difficult to pick one company among these but if you ask me, I think that Home First and Avas would be my preferred pick mainly because Aptus is not just into housing loan, it is also into small finance. And if you look at predominantly affordable housing, the Home First and Avas have got much lower cost of borrowing as compared to Aptus. So I think that they have the potential to grow. So these companies can come to Southern India and they can spread their business. And Aptus again, it is currently is mainly into South India. So it would be interesting to see whether Aptus would be able to increase its presence in Northern India. For now, I think uh, Avas and Home First are better position, but again, Aptus is also growing at a very good rate. So yeah, this is it for this video. Like I said, it's a very difficult call to select one housing finance company from three of them. All three of them are great. Still, I would prefer Home First and Avas and then Aptus. Now tell me in the comments. Have you invested in any of these housing finance companies? If yes, mention the name in the comments. Also let me know if you want me to do more of such comparative videos. And yes, do mention the name of the storm companies. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.